hello guys you're welcome back to my channel my name is tessie good morning good afternoon and good evening to you all depending on where you are watching from hope you all are doing well and thank you so much for stopping by edo youth vows to win edo state for peter obi there was a massive rally in edo state for peter obi and now the youth are vowing to neutralize all the saboteurs and win the state for the labor party now before we continue if you're just watching for the first time or you've been watching without subscribing please do us a favor by clicking on the red subscribe button down below to subscribe also on the notification button and that way anytime we upload a new video they will notify you and i pray that the same way you all are supporting us here in this channel god will definitely send people that will support you in whatever you are doing in life in jesus name amen this news i read hundreds of support supporters and support groups of the Labour Party and its presidential candidate Peter Obi yesterday at a town hall meeting in Bini City, Edo State expressed their determination to win the seat into the state house of assembly house of representatives and the senate to provide the needed administrative support for peter obi presidency besides they vowed to neutralize activities of saboteurs who they alleged were being planted in the party in this regard the supporters demanded that the candidate for various elective positions in the state be unveiled to them so that they could profile them and know who they are working for the president of no controversy organization one of the support groups of ob and labor party dennis obede while speaking at the meeting said we don't want saboteurs in our party because they are reaching out to us. All those political arm robbers are there, so we want to know all our candidates. We want to know those who are not on the side of the political robbers, so we can know our own. On his part, the state chairman of Labour Party, Loki Obaloy, explained that the party took time to pick its candidates, saying there are people with track records, character, and proven integrity in their various fields of life. Peter Obi is the arrowhead of Labour Party as its presidential candidate. We are also aware that a tree does not make a forest. That is why we have candidates for various positions and we must ensure that others win elections so that they will run the government side by side with Peter Obi. We have our hands on the plops. Let us look back. We are aware that some people are planning to do some funny things. We are not sleeping over it. We will put machineries in place to check this. What distinguishes Labour Party from other political parties is that it is ideologically and trade union driven to promote an active role in the country create economic prosperity and provision of social services on a long-term basis, Obaloy added. All right, my people, and that is it for you all from Peter Obi's supporters in Edo State. And these people are not joking. If they say they will do it, believe it, they will do it because they have done it before. The same thing they did during the time of the state governorship uh, election. They said, they, they said it. The statement was very clear that Edo State is not Lagos, that Jagaban will not say what will not tell them what they will do in their state and they will just the way they said it that they will win the state for obaseki they did it so if they say they will do it just believe it they will do it because the truth of the matter is that uh, so many things has gone wrong in this country and the people need someone to f immediately fix nigeria need an urgent rescue let me use the word of Peter Obi. He said Nigeria needs to be rescued urgently. So you need somebody, we need somebody that can fix this country urgently. 
And the only way we can achieve that is by removing the bad eggs, the bad and evil eggs in office and fix a good person that will respect us, a person who is ready to do the will of the people. And with all the people we have seen coming out for this election, we all will agree that Peter Obi is the man for the job. There is no two ways about it. And whoever it is that is trying to sabotage the efforts of the people, anybody trying to hinder or trying to make all the effort of the youth, all this effort they are putting in to make sure that they get what they are looking for, unfruitful that person will suffer the sufferings that nigerians are suffering today what is called nigeria will happen to the person 10 times what is worse than nigeria will happen to the person you see saboteurs has really made things hard for people in this country because after the youth put so much effort in trying to make a change and starting up something they will infiltrate the group and after getting information they will go and expose the secret to the, the evil leaders we have in this country and from there they will have the legal ground to deal with the youth the same thing that happened during the answers the movement was moving smoothly was moving a movement without leader they infiltrated the group from there, innocent blood were spilled. They killed innocent people, young and vibrant youth that has good future. The, the only offense they committed was asking for a better country. The only offense they committed was asking for a system that works for all. They killed them and cut their destinies very short the same thing they want to start with this particular movement but anybody that will try it will die a very painful death the kind of death where the person go die eh? you go you go worse past those ones then will die for lucky target the person will first of all suffer here on the on this earth before the person will die a very miserable and shameful death if you are not tired with what is happening in this country if you are not tired then i don't know the kind of human being you are just look at where we are as a nation people are dying every single day as a result of this bad government hunger hunger is killing people every single day people can no longer afford three square me a day as a result of this bad government and seeing all of this you still want to sabotage the effort of the people to get a better country you know go better for you you know go die well if you say because you want to collect a uh, 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 one naira enjoy today and suffer for the rest of your life so many people are tired of living that kind of life and they won't change so if you know you are not okay with it Go and kill yourself and let the people have what they want. And that is it for you all, my people. Note that you are not under obligation to agree with everything I say here. This is just my own personal opinion. So with all of that being said, I'm going to leave you all to share your own opinion with me on the comment section. And with that, I will say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Your love, support, and effort upon this channel is not taken for granted. Let me know what you think, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.